Remember the thrill of running away from bloodthirsty dinosaurs? Well, it's been 25 years, give or take, since Capcom introduced us to this dinosaur survival horror game. And for several years, fans have been asking for a remake ever since Capcom started with the Resident Evil remakes. And trust me, this game is in desperate need. Can you imagine this PS1 classic being remade with the RE engine? A remake would allow the loyal fan base to re-experience this game in its full HD glory. And it would also allow Capcom to bring in new fans, maybe reigniting the franchise? Fingers crossed. Just imagine, the graphics would be breathtaking, the gameplay more immersive, the scares even more intense. And it's about time to bring our girl Regina back. Hello. So let's do a little dive into the history. Dino Crisis was created in 1999 by the same creator as Resident Evil, Shinji Mikami. They released four games over the span of four or five years. Dino Crisis. Dino Crisis 2 Dino Stalker and Dino Crisis 3 What is this? And it did have a random mobile game, but let's just stick to the consoles. It was heavily compared to the likes of Resident Evil, with critics calling it Resident Evil with dinosaurs. The legacy of Dino Crisis lives on in other games, such as Dead Rising 3, Regina! Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, Namco X Capcom and through fan remakes. Now, let's be real here. This franchise died with the third installment. I don't know who sat in the boardroom and greenlit this decision to have dinosaurs in space. Come on Shinji, were you out of the country? Speaking of green lighting, y'all already know the story. Once upon a time, about two years ago on a PlayStation State of Play stream, Capcom revealed a dinosaur game and in that trailer was a red-haired woman. People were like... Then it got to the end and it said Exoprimal. <laughs> Hail to the na, to the na na na. What the f? Oh! I think a lot of people were saying that this was a kind of like a test from Capcom to see if people were still interested in dinosaur games. You know, with there only being a few of them out there. But yo, if that was the test, did we fail? I mean, it made 2 million in revenue in its debut week, and I couldn't find any official stats for 2024, but it sold 940,000 units by September last year. So it's probably well over a million at this point. However, isn't that kind of mid for a game these days, especially considering how much it costs presently to make a game and it coming from a multi-billion dollar company? Coinciding with Capcom's 45th anniversary, which is later this month, they recently had a questionnaire for fans called Capcom Super Elections. In this questionnaire, they asked fans which of their franchises they would like to see remade, which they haven't revisited in the past five years. I mean, of course Dino Crisis was there, so if you answered I think you answered correctly. Because here's three reasons why I believe this game needs to be revived. While it didn't do as well as his counterpart Resident Evil, Dino Crisis was actually a critical and commercial success. Just the PlayStation version alone of Dino Crisis sold over 2.4 million copies and it is listed as a Capcom Platinum title. For a first entry in the 90s, that's pretty good. This franchise as a whole garnered a fair amount of positive reviews and it helped to be compared to things like Jurassic Park and Resident Evil. Well, maybe being compared to Resident Evil forced them to switch up their formula for the sequels and spin-offs, resulting in a decline in sales and ultimately leading to their demise. Dino Crisis 2, they could never make me hate you. And do you know what? It still irks me that to this day, Regina still hasn't gone back for Channing Tatum. When you get back to our original time, use the day to learn about third energy, then build a perfect gate and come pick us up for the last time. 
Okay, so you know, if you're a Resident Evil fan, I mean, you've got to be a Dino Crisis fan too. Like I said, it's literally Resident Evil with dinosaurs. I see a fair amount of people posting on Twitter, keeping the dream alive. I just want to say thank you. I'm glad there's more of us out there. I found this tweet a while ago from an official Capcom account and it was saying, if a lot of people wish. If a lot of people wish. Honey, we've been wishing, but we ain't seeing no progress right now. With the success of the Resident Evil remakes and five more down the corner, we may not even see a Dino Crisis remake until they're done. Low key, they're more likely to re-remake Resident Evil. With the downfall of the development of Konami's PT slash Silent Hills, people have been craving good survival horror games. Although Capcom has released similar looking games like Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 8, it's the same sort of thing. Uh, developers, we require variety. This is the perfect time to release a dinosaur horror game. There's like no competition in the mainstream market and plenty of hardcore fans. We already have vampires, zombies, ghosts, etc. Etc. So Capcom, please consider bringing this back. We forgive you for the atrocity that is Dino Crisis 3. However, if you absolutely cannot wait, there is a game being developed by Hashbane called Instinction that is pegged as Dino Crisis' spiritual successor. But I think it may be closer to Turok because they have it down as an action adventure game. But I mean, Hashbane have the right idea. I can't lie. Extinction is a first person prehistoric action adventure with a wide linear campaign. Gameplay will offer quests, puzzles, combat, and exploration. Explore the rift filled with all manner of prehistoric beasts. You will need to be resourceful and quick-witted. Only the brave survive. They also showcase the dinosaurs that will be in the game. I mean, do you see these graphics though? My PC is literally having a panic attack right now. Of course, it's being developed with Unreal Engine 5 and it was slated for a 2022 release. However, they got outside funding and were able to expand the scope of the game. So if you're interested, the game is set to release next year. So I'll, keep, I'll put the link in the description so you can keep an eye on it. But deep down, I'm still hoping for Dino Crisis. I'm telling you, when this game drops, when this game announcement drops, I'm going to be bawling my eyes. I might take a picture and then post it somewhere. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I'll, I'll, I'm going to post a picture of me crying, like literally. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have for you today. It's been real. I'm not going to lie, the gaps in my upload. <laughs> my uploads i'm so sorry um but i have been working on stuff like behind the scenes so you'll see that very soon and i will see you in the next one